Hey everybody, I want to uh, remember, uh, remind everybody uh, that uh, there is a very nice thing that you can actually DX that I often have fun just, you know, parking my receiver on the frequency and listening at different times of day to see what I can listen to here. So you see here, this is a map and these are beacons. Uh, they are part of what is called the International Beacon Project. And uh, basically, you see all the locations of the different beacons here on the map. They actually have a revolving schedule that you can see here. So, for example, first of all, you have the frequencies. Unfortunately, I would love these beacons to be on every band. It would be so, so nice to have these on every band. But they are... Um, you know, probably for technical reasons and in and, and part um, on the uh, 20 meters and up. So 14100, 18110, 21150, 24930, and 28200. So you see here it changes all the time because these beacons actually have a 10 second transmission. It will start with the beacon ID in Morse code, followed by tones using. Uh, different power 100 watts 10 watts 1 watt 100 milliwatt they will ID again and then it passes on to the next beacon so it's a revolving schedule or a revolving beacon schedule so you can actually look at this page if you're not super good with you know decoding CW by here but you'll know what beacon you're actually listening to um, this is a nice uh, beacon to our nice um, list of beacons to check out and to see what we can actually hear. Of course, on the right side here, you see what beacon is active also. So the ones that says silent is because they are not right now transmitting. But as this changes every 10 seconds, you will notice that it changes, you know, and tells you what frequency has what beacon and so on. There are a few beacons that are offline. It often happens that some of them are offline due to technical reasons and so on. But it's really, really nice to uh, check out. And it's a cool way to also uh, know what is the, um, you know, where propagation comes from. So if you're wondering if, you know, is, is the band open to Australia, to North America, or, well, you can, you know, try to find if you can hear the VK6 RBP one, for example, from Australia and so on. But whatever happens when you hear the beacons, and you won't hear them all because it all depends on propagation and time of day, but you will hear some. Uh, if, if you stay there for a few minutes, you will hear some. Uh, it's a great way to know if propagation is open from uh, your area to a specific area around the world. And uh, yeah, it's fun to kind of DX and just have fun. There's an app available for both um, iPhones, iPads, uh, if you just type uh, Beacon Project or NCDXF Beacon, um, I believe uh, iPhone, iPad has it. And I know for Android, there's one also for Android tablets and phones because I got the one on my phone here and on my tablet also. So you can use your devices on not just your PC. But uh, the page, this page is in the description below the video and uh, it's kind of fun to DX those. So check that out, the uh, International Beacon Project. It's kind of cool. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.